Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to another episode of Climate to Master, obviously done in a different format. We're playing Tarek, and this game, you know, again, we're not really going to hide it. There's a reason that we're doing a replay of this game, like, surprise. Uh, anyway, the enemy team is doing an invade, and we're just going to back out of it. We see them coming. I think I dropped my ward early. Uh, yeah, I did. You can see in the bottom right, I used my ward, and I'm like, where's everybody gone? So, like, Fiora literally solo basically invades. And I'm like, why is she walking that way? Because they split. One team went that way, one team went left. What I did as a mistake here, and I remember saying this when I played this game. Oh my gosh, oh god, I wish I flashed. When Master EQ'd me, if I flashed earlier and I went under tower, that would have been first blood for us. Because this Master Yi has done the no teleport tactic. Oh, sorry, no flash tactic. So I really wish... I really wish that I flashed at the right time and got Tarek, uh, sorry, got Masty under the tower. Because, yeah, that would have been a free first blood. Um, so just a couple of things to mention this game. Uh, you'll actually notice the Evelyn on our team. That is her summoner name. Her summoner name is Evelyn. She was a pure one-trick Evelyn player. And uh, it doesn't go too good in the early game. Me and Jinx in bot lane. Jinx Tarek is an okay lane. Uh, it, it, you know, it's perfectly fine. Uh, Jin Nautilus, again, a perfectly fine lane. I wouldn't say either of them are better than each other. Um, both are just there. You can see the enemy team knows I don't have flash, and they're trying to bully us out of XP. You'll notice I just walk into lane. You can't just let them bully you. They're not going to kill us in a proper all-in, even at level 1. So, like, don't let them just take away XP from you directly. Walk up. Get that XP. And it kind of makes them back off. Uh, the negative would be, I don't know if we got all the XP... So the enemy team might get to level 2 quicker, and we will have to be careful of that. Um, but yeah, full disclosure, I will say, this game doesn't go great. And by the way, Nautilus kind of mistimed his engage because Jin was so far away. Uh, but this game does not go great in the early game. You know, that's a lot of the time. Huz, when I'm, when, you know, when Huz is doing a replay episode, or me, um, there's a reason for it. It's usually, the game doesn't go good early, but something happens. So, uh keep watching i guess even though the early game isn't fantastic top lane garen versus fiora i would probably put uh fiora at advantage of that matchup just you know fiora is a 1v1 duelist champion garen is very basic uh, to the point that fiora should be able to just out duel him fiora's also got tank killing properties and everything so i'd give that to fiora even early game and mid to late game to be honest in the 1v1 at least jungle it's a, a yi with uh, an Evelyn. One of these champions is getting fed. Uh, I usually see Evelyns get fed pretty much most games they actually play. It just seems that champion always gets fed. Uh, meanwhile, I go for a start. I do land it, but then Jinx was so passive. And that was one thing I did have to note. This Jinx was insanely passive in lane phase to the point that like it probably did hurt us. We do get a, a, a nice like reaction kill. Talon does roam and helps kill the jungle, and then Talon helps us get a double kill and bot. Teleport, by the way, from Fiora top lane. So even though Fiora is winning top, she's teleporting bot, which it's not great. Like, you see, she hasn't got a kill. Now Garen stayed in top lane. Garen has teleport. He didn't use it. So that's actually really bad for Fiora that she blew that TP. And we do end up with a double kill on Jinx, which is good. But again, the beginning of that fight... The Jinx was really slow to actually go, oh, we're fighting. So I don't know why. And, I, you know, I will say there does seem to be a trend in that from memory about this game. That she was just very slow. Uh, meanwhile, again, Yi with the Akali. Um, you know, misposition, arguably. But it was because of the Scuttle Crab. Evelyn's going to try and get out. Obviously, Akali, 100% still an stupidly, you know, dumb champion to most people who play the game. Even though, yes, she has been nerfed. It's irrelevant. Uh, Garen tried to walk through a Yi. And they are now... Gonna fight. Nothing's major is happening in bot lane, by the way. So Talon's gonna do what he can. And Master Yi is gonna get blown up. And the dot from Talon, he's dead. So yeah, no no escape, Master Yi. Not completely surprised it's not doing great in the early game. But both junglers are in the exact same position, literally. Both on 20 farm and both are 0 2 1. So kind of funny that both junglers are equally having a kind of poop early game. Bot lane, though. Obviously, things are going pretty good. We're ahead by 10 farm in bot lane. Jinx is 2-0, so that's not bad at all. Uh, Jinx decides to go back now, but she doesn't. She stops. Um, I, she must have a decent amount of gold. She's got 1,700 gold. That is quite a lot of gold to hold. She got W'd by the Jin. So, yeah, she's not basing. 
even if she takes a slight you know xp or a slight farm cut Arguably, she should look for it. Why Why am I running so forward, by the way? We just saw vision of, of Nautilus in mid. So, you know, if their AD carries alone, you can look to just do a little bit of bullying. But nothing comes of it because he manages to run away. Uh, he has got tier, tier 1 boots himself already, which is quite early. Um, I would say, I guess, for a Jin, maybe not. I guess, you know, movement's very important for a Jin, so I guess it isn't too surprising. Uh, but what has kept happening, by the way, <clears throat> is the Jinx is still not based. Does she go back this time? Yeah, she does, finally. So she does go back, um, maybe a little bit too late uh, for my liking, but there's that. And I'm just going to stay around in bot and just kind of protect the tower from what I can. Just going for a stun. Look at the damage, by the way. Again, that's a longsword Jin doing that much damage. Not that hook. So I remember playing this game on stream going, that did not hit me. Let's actually rewatch that on slow-mo because I am pretty damn sure... We all know the hitbox of Nautilus ult, sorry, Nautilus Q. It's like Morgana. It's very wide. How in the hell does that not hit the tower? I'm behind the tower, practically. That was very weird. Like, nine times out of ten, that would have just latched to the tower. That was never hitting me, but it latched to me. I, very weird. No idea. Uh, Talon was roaming again, obviously reminding everybody the meta of mid lane right now is screw mid lane, just roam to bot. Uh, so Talon is doing that, and from memory, Akali might be bot lane, and yes, she is. So yeah, both mid laners have the mentality of the meta. Screw mid lane, it's not important, just roam to bot lane, get kills there. So, big burst is happening. Yes, they get Talon, but with Talon's burst, Talon gets the kill on Akali. So again, not too bad. Uh, Jinx surviving, or Jinx obviously back in lane now. She might have got an assist, which is pretty good, and I think Jin got an assist as well. So a little bit of Fiesta play happening. But that is to be expected, I guess, in Season 11. Alright, so Jin staying in lane at half health. Jinx comes back full health. So you could hopefully say that there is now a slight advantage on our side when it comes to pressure. Uh, Evelyn is pinging Dragon. Good W by her. Uh, you know, borderline thinking, do we go for a dive? Jinx just hit level 6, but Naughty Nautilus has just arrived. So you can't really go for a dive when the big CC man himself arrives again. And lo and behold, by the way, any second, yep, that's a Kali here in bot lane again. Just to say, yes, the meta is that, and it's a stupid meta. A Kali went from dying here to die, obviously reviving. She never returned to mid. She literally walked straight to bot. That is the mid meta, and oh, I hate it. So I'm dead. And Akali, once again, I don't need to return to mid. I'm just going to walk into the enemy jungle and kill the enemy jungler. Because screw mid lane. Like, it literally, I know I'm saying it a lot. And I, I hope I'm not annoying people. But that is the meta. It's to play these assassin, AP assassins, or AD assassin champions. And just screw mid. So I block off the Akali. Talon's here as well. I get the W on him, which means I get an assist. Just. So that's good. So I get a cheeky assist there. Shut down for Talon, and Akali eventually dies. She's got 29 farm, by the way. Jinx returning just to bot lane to do a bit more farming. About even farm in mid right now. Nothing special. So it's going okay. Just a bit of a fiesta, as we've mentioned. Uh, Garen did get a, to a solo kill on um, Fiora. I do a stun there and notice, oh god, I've not re-W'd the Jinx. So I did notice that, and I've done it now. Evelyn... Level 6 finally. So she's 0-3. Very rough early game. But many people are aware Evelyn as a champion kind of becomes Evelyn at level 6. One, she's got the crazy ultimate. Two, she gets her stealth. Two very important factors to Evelyn as a champion. So hopefully she can start doing better or turning her game around. Um, but yeah. Nothing crazy happening. The game seems to have calmed down. Evelyn looking to try and invade a Master Yi. Remember, the Master Yi does have Ignite, so it's not as simple as I can kill you easily. Uh, Talon then also going for a kind of weird over extendery engage. Not sure about this one, if I'm honest. Meditate for Yi. He gets a Q off, and Evelyn gets the kill. She flashes, but double flash following. Talon surviving over to the left. And she will go down, and I'm like with Jinx. We can move. The negative here is the Jinx has got no mana. Again, the Jinx did have seemingly a tendency to stay in lane when she probably needed to go back to go get mana, to get an item. And that hurt us every now and then because we couldn't, we had to stop the play. Like I went running and was like, wait, Jinx has got no mana. We've got to bail anyway. So she's gone back, got more mana, got a pickaxe, a little bit of a power spike. So that's good. Uh, people in Twitch chat, I am rec recording this live, which I normally don't do, are saying, you keep getting confused which team is on and cheering for the blue team. No, cheer for red team. 
Um, because yeah, I'm on red. Unless you don't want me to win. But considering this is a replay, obviously the result has already been predetermined. Anyway, um, I don't obviously want the, the exact same thing to happen, what happened earlier of me getting killed in the 2v1. I get not a stun. And again, it Jin, you might not think like Jin against Tarek, like Jin is immobile, Huz. Isn't that good for Tarek? In theory, yes, because he doesn't have a dash or something. Obviously, eventually he'll have a dash with Gale Force. But he's a Swifty champion. Boots are Swifties. He's really fast. It's actually quite hard, hard to land Tarek E on targets that are just movement speed fast based. Also, just worth mentioning, I don't know if I mentioned this on the last Tarek game that I played. Because obviously, I've recently been kind of bigging up Tarek going, he's really good. I do think Tarek is, is better than a lot of people think. No, I you know, is he overpowered like legit? Not probably. He's strong. Meanwhile, enemy team, we're waiting in a bush. I get a nice stun. I go for an early Tarek ult and go, maybe we can turn. We, we don't get enough damage instantly. The enemy team just run away. And I do think we decide just to back off. Master Yi does kill the Evelyn in a 1v1. Uh, she's now 1 and 5, by the way. But the point being is for Tarek to work also. And I, you know, I don't want to advertise the point that anybody can make Tarek work. Anybody can get fed on the champion. In order to make Tarek work, meanwhile, big play happening. Four people bot lane, by the way, <clears throat> which is great. Talon dead. Akali flashes. She'll finish him off, then use her E. And then I'm very close to death. We'll go down as well because, yay, Akali. Uh, but to finish the point that I'm trying to be making for a while now, but too much is happening. <clears throat> Tarek is good in the hands of a good player. You have to be, you know... Without sounding whatevers, you can play Yumi to an average level, but make a big impact. If you play Tarek even to an average level, your impact probably isn't going to be great. Uh, you have to play really well to make it work. And obviously, yeah, Jinx going down to the Akali because she's just staying in bot lane. Um, so yeah, so this game so far, a bit of a frustrating that, you know, hey, we're doing well in, in early lane phase. We've got a 2-0 kill type of thing. But with how much... Akali's been bot lane, it's just been a little bit crazy. And obviously Talon's been here too. I, I would prefer neither of them come bot. I'd just want those two to lane in mid lane and do their thing in mid, and I'd prefer bot lane to be the 2v2. And then junglers occasionally get involved. But that isn't the meta. Um, but yeah. So Evelyn did get Rift Herald, by the way. She probably will be looking to do and use it in the near future. She pops it, and Nautilus is top lane. So, and Master Yi. So, roaming now happening. Garen's going to go down instantly because he's still fairly squishy at this point. Rift Herald use is giving the Evelyn the escape and Talon also is here. <clears throat> so the enemy team might walk into this. Right now I would be asking myself the question, where's Akali? Well there she is because again clearly she's not going to turn the mid. Evelyn did a good ultimate but look at the mobility that this champion has. Insane. Like, she, I, I don't, it's mad. So uh, Akali will kill the Evelyn. So once again, the game not looking too great but we press on. Good W hit by Jinx. I'm like, we have to go for a dive. Surely we have to go for a dive. And there's the Gale Force. An immobile champion suddenly has mobility, so we can't kill him. And uh, we will, I think, just walk away slowly and not now go for a dive. So there we go. Um, so Gore Drink, a talent, by the way, if for those that, you know, could be questioning that, apparently, from what I know, that is meta. Gore Drinker is meta on Talon. Uh, Positional wise, you know, was a bit of a giveaway. Nice dodge. Was a bit of a giveaway that Nautilus is coming by the Jin walking forward. Yeah, um, Evelyn gets herself a key on the uh, kill on the Yi. And once again, we do find, unfortunately, ourselves in the position that Jinx is Oom again. Like, she did... I don't know. Maybe I'm just noticing it, like, when I was a game or, you know, just randomly I'm noticing it in the replay. She is a very heavy mana use AD carry, this, this particular Jinx. I normally don't see Jinxes always go Oom. But this one did seem to, which obviously means she was overusing her rocket in lane phase. Um, the minigun costs no mana to use auto attacks. The rocket does cost. I'm getting Nautilus ulted, by the way. Long engage. Fight, like, all I was saying, that minion, that Q, that was the exact same width of the tower. But that one hit me, the other one didn't. So I go down. But honestly, unfortunately, I get the kill. I don't want the kill. But the ignite finished off the Jin, And for a Tarek... They both end up dead. I get a kill, which I didn't want, but Evelyn gets an assist. And my Jinx gets a kill. She returns to uh, bot lane, getting solo XP. That's more than worth it. That's actually quite bad for the enemy team. So that's good. But, you know, you can still, you know, sense the, the aggression level in this game is obviously very, very high. Uh, Akali clearing a ward. Maybe was looking to roam, obviously, but 
get spotted so she can't completely go for it. Uh, but we're about halfway, by the way, of this game. So halfway mark, it's pretty even. We're actually slightly ahead in gold, but we're behind in kills. And we have ourselves the first dragon. So there are some positives still in this match. But anyway, uh, going to return to bot lane with the J uh, Jinx. You know, going to help her as much as I can just get through the lane phase. Uh, you know, that is in essence the job as a support. And again, it's the job as a support to do that until this is going to sound really stupid. It's not. And what I mean by that is if you're in a game that you have no trust in your AD carry, your AD carry sucks. It's sometimes better to abandon that AD carry and focus on the other positives. So, for example, this game, if this Jinx was really bad and I'm like, right, I can't rely on you. I want to try and win the game. I'd probably focus my attention to the, the talent right now. I'd probably go bind to him. Let's go make plays with the talent. Meanwhile, engage coming by the enemy team. Unfortunately, missed my E. But that's just the way that it is. And I was borderline expecting Evelyn to come. I think she did ping that she was on her way. But then she decides to do a detour to Dragon. Not a bad detour to do. And then after Dragon, maybe she'd come bot lane. And I think I was half expecting that. But she goes mid instead. So unfortunately, I'm taking way more damage than I ever expected. I use my ulti. Uh, use my, sorry, the item. But it isn't enough. Obviously, Immobile Jin has Gale Force. So it's now mobile. And we will end up, unfortunately, dead. And we just don't quite get that kill on the Jin. So we do end up a 2 and 0. So annoying situation. Mid lane fight. Evelyn doesn't do enough damage. There is a two level gap, by the way, between the junglers right now. And both of them will end up dead in mid. So that's not good. And this from memory is we're getting to the stage that I think I stopped recording. Oh, where I put music on. It was one of the two. Uh, because the game gets a little bit out of control from memory. Garen looking to roam. But yeah, he's not going to catch Nakali, let's be honest. Uh, but yeah, bit of a fiesta. You know, I, I, it's quite bad for me. And I'll, I'll hold my arms up saying one and six. I normally don't feed in lane. This is pretty bad for me being one and six. The damage obviously is very high. And, you know, as I mentioned, as you guys have seen, Akali's been bot lane a lot. So it, it's been a hard lane phase to survive. The negative of Tarek, by the way, as well. Tarek's kind of a utility. Well, like he's a hybrid. Tarek is in the middle of tank. And... Uh, what the hell's it? What, what's the squishy healing supports called? I've literally gone blank. Whatever the hell they're called, someone in Twitch chat will tell me in a second. Uh, Enchanter, thank you. So yeah, Tarek is a hybrid between enchanting and tank. That the fact that he does, he has tank elements. He is tanky, but in order to do some things, and be well, yeah, Akali's bot lane because you know why would she be mid? Um, they, they, she, Tarek has elements of an enchanter as well. So unfortunately for us, there's no escaping an Akali. So we're doing the best we can. I'm trying to help her live, but she's dead. And now that she's dead, Akali will kill me for free. So, uh, yeah. So Garen just died in top lane, by the way. Akali double kills us. Talon is staying mid lane to kill the tier two, I guess. So four of us just died. I think it was at that point that I was like, right, turning off the, the commentary, like turning off the recording, you know, let's just focus up, uh, you know, or it's likely this game is pretty poop anyway. So, yeah, Garen is 1 and 2. He's done not terribly in lane, but at least he hasn't fed a, a Fiora. But as we all probably know, the 1v1 duelist power of Fiora is looking good for a Fiora versus a Garen later. Jungle, this from memory was, a, you know, her name is Evelyn. She was a complete one-trick Evelyn, having a very bad game. The Talon was doing fine. Just Talon isn't on a Kali level. Uh, and then bot lane, again, it's been okay. Like, I've died a bit too many times, obviously. Uh, but Jinx is still hanging in there. So it's not the end of the world, which is, I guess, okay. Um, a bit of, like, commotion. I don't know if, like, Garen was taking farm there or something, but it's fine. And then I'm like, right, let's focus a little bit on the talent. Jin is in mid lane alone. He puts a control ward down, I guess, to see if Evelyn was around. She's not. Uh, Masty is here, by the way, killing our Garen. So the enemy team have that much, like, power that they're literally in our territory. Evelyn goes down in top lane to the Fiora. Talon goes all in for the, 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 the Yi, but there's two people around. Jinx ult comes in, but Yi, I guess, may have still been in Meditate, so it takes no damage. And yeah, so once again, three people dead again. So you can clearly see the momentum shift on the enemy team is just getting there and getting there. How do we slow this down? It's quite rough to slow this down, obviously. Jinx making a way over. And we're just hoping to defend this a little bit. Just don't let them get the tier 2 at least. They get the big damage on it, but at least they might not kill it. 
Jig's quite far away, maybe could have done a bit of damage, but yeah, she's just acting very safe. And then, yeah, she walks forward as the tower's dying. It's a bit of weird timing there. But yeah, not game's not going well. So gold lead, remember, we was like, you know, halfway through. Um, gold is about even. If anything, red team, my team was slightly ahead. Obviously, that has fundamentally changed. Uh, Fiora is Oom, but she still had enough uh, mana for her W. I go for an ulti on the on the Garen. Akali is obviously here again. And maybe we can make something happen here. Can we make something happen? Let us see. So we are hunting down the Akali. She's going to go for the Jin. Uh, Jinx, sorry. She gets doesn't get the kill, but she flashes over. She's used all of her mobility. So you'd think, right, she cannot get away anymore. And she's used her mobility. She will go down. So that's really good. Master Yi is bot lane, so Baron pings start to happen, which I agree with. This is the time to do Baron because they have, their, you know, Yi, their jungler, Jin, their carry, is nowhere near. So yes, we will probably lose the tier 2, etc. But Baron is a mechanic to make comebacks. I've always said Baron is usually a way that you lose more games than you win. But if this is a free Baron, it can get you into the game. I land a stun, we're getting the Baron, we get the Baron, and then this also should give us two free kills. And no one dies. We then have the fast base because we got Baron buff. And then the enemy team did break open the base. But they haven't got inhib. Dragon is also on. So this is where you now be like, right, we have Baron. This is maybe a way that we can gain momentum back in this crazy game so far. I'm going to W the talent just to give him a bit of extra armor. Garen TP to the left. We see Master Yi. Remember, no flash Master Yi. Gets silenced. Gets stride broke. He's dead. So that's their jungle gone again. We're now going to go for the Jin. I do try to get the stun on the uh, with the E with the Talon, but it's really hard to predict. But now that's going to give us Infernal Dragon, potentially, as long as we don't actually miss it. And uh, enemy team is a little bit on the back foot now. So yes, we get it. We land the W on Akali. She does get slowed. I don't think we actually go continuing for that because we do, from this situation, have a... Well, some people, Evelyn's got 1,500 gold. Probably is a good idea to slow it down now. <clears throat> it's gone well. Again, not really sure what the Evelyn is doing. Nearly killing the Fedakali. Would have killed that Fedakali if she had ulti, but didn't. So she probably shouldn't have gone for that. And obviously, yeah, Akali survived. Um, but now that's double digits on the Evelyn. That was a bad death. There was no good reason to do that. The wave was pushing anyway. She was doing that to clear a control ward. We would have got it anyway. So she dies for killing a control ward, which is a bit... Mm. But uh, yeah, so a little bit of a comeback. You know, the gold you can see is closer than it was a few minutes ago. So that's good. Um, yeah, and again, Jin, Jinx, remember, you can rely on Jinx to do late game carry damage. It's not like she falls off. She's a good late game carry, much like Jin um, in this game. Both of them scale well. Um, meanwhile, going to go to top lane. Baron buff, obviously. Fiora, going to land the W. Go for the sun. Re really hard to land these stuns, but Garen ult with the, the dot of red buff, we actually kill the Fiora, and here we go. This is a big play. A lot of people are coming top lane. Jin is here. Yi is here. Nautilus is here. It's only me and Garen. I preemptively ult just to stop the big boom boom damage, and we both flash. We avoid a lot of damage. Triple stun! That stops uh, completely the engage for the enemy team, and now that gives us the power to re-engage. That triple stun was pretty clutch, if I do say so myself. Uh, Talon found the Yi. He's got no escape. Akali's in the area. She's trying to go for a 1v4. Um, she's over to the left because I've got my red trinket. She will kill me. I don't care. I'm a Tarek. So we kill the Akali, who's the fed one. And now that is four people dead on the enemy team. Jin is also being hunted by a Talon. And by the way, remember, that was no Evelyn. That was began as a fight of just me and Garen. And then... Uh, two other people arrived and Evelyn by the way I want to show this just to show how silly it is sometimes this Evelyn is 410 she only has one oh I didn't mean to do that I pressed backspace that is very fast is that okay speed I think that's about the right speed all right so Evelyn is 410 she has one item complete watch this like it's mad so she's not gonna charm him she doesn't charm he even heals kills him that was without evelyn charm no evelyn charm and she's 410 with one item complete huh did i say hi with three gifty subbies thank you so much dude much appreciate much appreciate but that, that to me that's madness that is absolutely madness uh, did i say hi did a triple gifted sub for the triple stun with Tarek? thank you that's very kind 
But that, yeah, like, to me, that Evelyn should never be able to kill that Jin ever. Like, Jin's got three completed items. I know it's an AD carry, but Evelyn's got one completed item. She didn't land the charm, and Jin even healed. She still could do a combo one-shot on him without charm. Like, just mad. The damage. Anyway, the game is looking better. So if you actually notice at the top, by the way, the gold, we're now winning in gold. We still haven't overtaken them in kills, but one thing I will give the Evelyn, even though she's had a pretty bad game... She did prioritize dragons. I've always said, if you're having a bad game of the jungle, but you can prioritize dragons, you're doing something at least good for your team. You are giving your team strength, not even indirectly. You are directly giving your team strength by giving them dragons. And that's what Evelyn did. So even though she had a bad game, she did get the dragons. So Akali, as Evelyn was trying to fight the Akali, she keeps doing it and she's just going to get one shot through again. Akali, you know. So we're now on the back foot because we've lost one of our players, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, you can see we're just wanting to defend. Dragon is up in a minute and a half, so at least that isn't happening right now. And we're just on the back foot. Uh, Magi was taken. Welcome to the, the year club. 12 months as one year poggers. Thanks for the awesome videos and streams. It's one of the few good things in life keeps me going. Thanks a lot. Thank you, my dude. Thanks for being part of the community. And uh, Zara, yeah, Zarathos, send me a DM. That's fine. All right, so enemy team, we're just slowing them down. We've got okay wave clear with the with the Jinx, but obviously earlier they did open this. We go for a full engage on the Nautilus, by the way, get the stun on him, and Garen is just like, screw it. Let's just get numbers even and watch. He just takes out the Nautilus, which I didn't expect, but that now makes the numbers in our park. Like, they don't have a Nautilus. Evelyn's res respawned. So don't underestimate even just killing a support in late game. It's important. I go for an ult on the tar uh, Talon. Marcy is meditating, once again reminding everybody he's got no escape apart from running. He hasn't gone flash. Look at the positioning. They're all low apart from Akali. I, me and Garen choose to loop around. Enemy team probably sees us looping like, right, we have to move forward. Akali's going to get killed. Garen's now engaging. I'm not even here yet, by the way. Enemy team is completely out of position and low health. Yes, we are going to kill, uh, clean them all, really. Um, Fiora's dead. Jin is doing his best to try and run away and survive. He knows he's dead at this point. The, the W lands and double kill for the Jinx. So bam, we just got a kill. Garen doing obviously great work. The, the number advantage of killing the Nautilus. Don't underestimate even just taking a support out in mid to late game. It's important. Number advantage is a big reason you win or lose team fights. Dragon has spawned. So that gives us the infernal dragon soul. So it's that timing has really worked out for us of that happening because it happened around dragon and we've had every dragon this game. So we now also get soul. So this game was looking pretty damn grim, quite a frustrating, annoying game. And as you can see, we're turning it. This game, we're now in a, in a way, we are winning this game. Let's not hide away from it. We're 4k gold ahead. We have the soul. It's working. And one thing I will say, and I just want to point out, a big reason why I think this game was actually working is one of the champions of the enemy team was fundamentally not playing their champion in the way that the champion has to be played. Anybody notice the Fiora is not playing as a Fiora? I ping Baron, by the way, because look, they are chasing down a Garen with three slash four people or whatever it is. Yi does go, Yi kills the Talon, by the way, but watch this. And back. So he goes down, so that's fantastic. Good rocket prediction by Jinx. I'm forcing the Baron because I know there's a bunch of people bot lane. Unfortunately, yeah, Evelyn was just farming in top lane. And I'm not even kidding. She genuinely was farming in top. But yeah, as I was saying, Fiora. Meanwhile, I don't know. The Jin had a bit of extra confidence there. That was misplaced confidence. So he goes down. But the Fiora doesn't play as Fiora. I actually, where is the Fiora? Is she AFK? Like, hang on, where is she? She's here. So there's the Fiora. She's not AFK. But she is not playing as a Fiora. By, she's level 14 to a level 16 Garen because the Garen has been split pushing this game. Fiora hasn't been. She's a 1v1 duelist split push monster in late game that will definitely kill a Garen. She's not doing it. It's really odd. I don't know why you play Fiora to not then play as Fiora late game, if that makes sense. It's odd. Anyway, Baron pings have, been ha have happened by the Evelyn. So even though maybe we could have done Baron earlier instead of her farming, we're now thinking about doing it. Uh, November, thank you so much, dude. Three months tier one says, hey, Huzzy, just returned from the beach and looking forward to some regular community. Uh, looking to become a regular community member, even though the streams start early in the morning for me. Thank you very much. Hopefully the beach was all right. All right, so I get a stun on the Yi. Remember, he can't escape. He's got the blasting cone, though, but he will go down. And the Akali's now in the mix. 
we're, we're bunched up, which, again, could be good for Akali, but she just doesn't do enough anymore. There's a double kill. I, I by the way, kill the Akali, um, which, you know, you don't want kills on Tarek. It's literally pointless. Talon goes to the Jin. He dies. If you're on the back foot, she will die and get the stun on it. Boom, that's an ace. And yes, that is going to be, I believe, game. So this game, massive turnaround. Lane phase went poop. Mid lane is constantly in bot lane. 3v4 in bot lane, 4v4 in bot lane, really frustrating. Enemy team got ahead, but we continue to try to win the game. So that is the important thing. Continue trying to win the game. The Evelyn had a pretty terrible game, but she went for every dragon, so that was a positive. And the Garen actually played pretty well in himself. The Fiora didn't play like Fiora, so overall we win. You know, that's the thing. And, you know, it is worth saying, I think Akali is kind of dumb. I think many people still do. But the weakness of Akali, like most assassins grouping like grouping does fundamentally counter an assassin they can't assassinate somebody when there's millions of cc around or a big tarot cult that makes everybody immune so the later the game went on when we started to group up it did kind of hurt the akali yes that technically also would hurt the evelyn it would hurt the talon but the garen was doing better than fiora and then in late game the jinx was doing better than Jin. so it actually kind of worked for us also it's good against a master Yi. a master Yi, you just cc he's dead he hasn't got flash he can't reposition so grouping also helped quite a lot this game too but that's going to be it if you guys did enjoy do throw a like on it throw a comment throw a subscribe see you guys next time peace